Hello, and welcome to the Demoet series for TIBCO Data Virtualization, or TDV. In this Demoet, we discuss the use of Hive as a data source. Here is our agenda. We begin by defining Hive data sources and outlining their importance for our customers. Next, we walk through a very basic demo of using Hive as a data source. Finally, we summarize the contents of this demoet. Let's begin by discussing what Hive data sources are and why they are important for our customers. Apache Hive is a data warehouse infrastructure built on top of Hadoop. It enables query and analysis of files stored in Hadoop. Hive supports a query language called QL, which is a very limited subset of SQL. Hive data sources are important to our customers for two reasons. First, customers want to use TDV to expose Hive data as relational tables or web services, enabling this data to be consumed by familiar data query tools. Second, customers do not want to be limited to seeing Hive data in isolation. They want to use TDV to join it with data from other enterprise data sources. Next, let's walk through a very basic demo of using a Hive data source. Here is the business problem that we illustrate in this demo. This enterprise maintains a Hive repository in a Hadoop instance. We need to bring this data into TDV so that it can be integrated with other enterprise data sources and published to data consumers as a virtual database or as a set of web services. Before you begin, you must place the necessary JDBC driver jars for Hive in the appropriate folder in TDV, as shown here. Initially, this directory only contains the circled values.xml file. You must restart TDV after copying the jars into this directory. To create a Hive repository, we use Hortonworks Sandbox, as shown here. Choose Download and Install, and you may select a pre-built virtual machine that runs in your choice of VirtualBox, VMware, or Hyper-V. After installation, we are ready to begin our demo. Start the VM. You will get a few warnings as shown here, but these do not prevent the system from running. When this screen appears, Hadoop and Hive are ready to run. On your host machine, point a browser to the address shown here. This is the opening browser page. Note that there is a bug in the URL that is supposed to point to the Hue interface. The IP address shown here is incomplete. Use the complete IP address of your VM and point to port 8000. This is the Hue homepage. Click the beeswax icon to go to the Hive homepage. Go to the Tables tab, select a table, and click View. Now you can view metadata and data for the selected table. We see that our Hive repository is working. Now we are ready to create the new TDV data source. We select Hive 0.12 and fill in the required information as shown here. We enter the IP address of the Hive server and use the default port of 10,000. We use default as the database. Note that our Hortonworks sandbox does not require a login or password for the Hive server. We click Create and Introspect. We choose all available resources, and the Hive tables are now available to us in the TDV Studio namespace. When we open a table, we see that the metadata and data are available to us in SQL form. The Hive data is now ready to be joined with any other enterprise data in TDV and published as a virtual database or web service. We are not limited to the functionality in Hive QL. TDV lets us work on this data with the full power of SQL. Our demo is complete. Let's summarize what we have seen in this presentation. Apache Hive is a data warehouse infrastructure built on top of Hadoop. It enables query and analysis of files stored in Hadoop. Hive supports a query language called QL, which is a very limited subset of SQL. 
Hive data sources are important to our customers for two reasons. First, customers want to use TDV to expose Hive data as relational tables or web services, enabling this data to be consumed by familiar data query tools. Second, customers do not want to be limited to seeing Hive data in isolation. They want to use TDV to join it with data from other enterprise data sources. Thank you.